เดี๋ยวมันหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื่อนหาเพื
I guess you catch a lot more doing it this way. Alright, so as you can probably hear the music in the background, this is part of the giving festival. It's kind of a Buddhist a Buddhist festival, I guess, um, about giving and sharing. And so we took a little bit of a break after the fishing. Uh, and now we are back at uh, Pita's house and we're going to eat the fish that uh, they caught in the pond. Probably a lot more food and more drinking and music. <laughs> This is the first day of festival? I'm not sure. This is the giving festival, so everything is free. We've been told repeatedly, everything is free. <laughs> Even the straw is free. So anyway. I you do? Oh, that's good. You can talk to many people. Where did you come from? From Canada. Oh my god. Yen mak, yen yen mak. What started out as something that was scary and unfortunate um, our car breaking down I think at the time seemed like such an inconvenience and it still is I mean it's gonna cost a lot of money and when it happened it seemed like it was such bad luck like oh we're only a week into our road trip and our car has already broken down and needs major repairs and it's gonna take 10 days to fix this is terrible I think it was easy to look at it like that for a little while. And then we got here and started meeting all the people here, started learning what life is like at Pan Pan Yasutan and just in the village as well. And I think I can look back on those moments when our car broke down. And now I'm able to see all of the good luck and like alignment that had to happen for us to be here and it really just feels like destiny i don't know how else how else to say it and we were just in nam now national park in the middle of nowhere there was nothing we could have broken down there instead we made it almost a con can and it just break down right in front of this engine shop and he's specifically an engine mechanic which was, yeah, incredibly fortunate. And we were also incredibly fortunate to have Am with us at the time um, because he was able to, to speak Thai and explain what happened and explain back to us what the mechanic was telling us. And we were able to come to Yasotan, which I don't think we initially planned on staying super long in Yasotan, maybe like four days, five days. Um, but it's just been so amazing so far um, and so different than where we have been for the past 
months. And it's been really, really enlightening, really heartwarming. I love the people here. I think it's changed my, my perspective on living in Thailand, on where we should be in the road trip. It seems like God really just said, you, you need to slow down and you need to stay here for a while and learn, learn from these people. And it's been awesome so far. Thank you, thank you. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Check, check, check. What is your name? I'm Jay. I'm Jay. I'm <laughs> the people in the village close to Pan Pan Yaso have been so nice, like so, so nice. It really just feels like being part of a big family here. When we go to the markets, when we talk to the villagers, they're so open, they're so welcoming, they're so happy we're here. And I'm just happy to be in a place where everyone's happy. Um, and seems to live so simply. And they're used to like sustaining themselves here. It's completely different than Chiang Mai, like so different than Chiang Mai. And this isn't just like my, my observation of these things. Um, this is what the Thai people have been telling us through conversations with them in the evenings. It's like people from Isan, still live this way of like sustainability and just foraging for food everywhere, growing what they need to survive and living like very simple but happy lives. And you really feel that in all the people here. We're super fortunate to be here right now. And honestly, I've just kind of forgot about the car for a little while, which is great. Like I don't really care when it's done. When it's done, it'll be done and then Maybe we'll go pick it up right away. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Every night we spend here, um, we usually stay up a little late talking to, to the people here, trying to talk as best we can. And every night we get invited to some sort of event or someone's house or, yeah, just different random things that people are like, you should experience this. If you're in, if you're in Isan, like, come, come do this, come to my house. Like they really want us to experience their life here because they really love it. Um, which I think just it brings you into like real Thai culture. And it's very humbling and it's very, very amazing to, to be brought in um, as an outsider and just be welcomed with open arms. Yeah, it's just a, an indescribable feeling. I've just been listening to you for like 10 yeah. minutes. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, do you have anything to say? No, you can keep going. I was just going to wash some clothes. Hmm. Good idea. <laughs> I have no clothes. <laughs> I know. Like I said, it's been an unexpected blessing to be here. And I'm excited to share it with you guys. Um, I hope that this will inspire you if you're planning on coming to Thailand. Please come to Isan. I know everywhere in Thailand people are generous and kind and amazing, but Isan just really takes it to another level. I'm in no hurry to leave. We do want to get back on a road trip, obviously. Um, we have more friends to see, more places we'd like to go to make at least the repairs worth it um, for coming this far. But really in no rush to leave. 